Do you know why everyone is saying Kanye West overpaid for his $57.3 million beach house in Malibu? Well, I'm going to critique this house and I'm going to tell you it's three major flaws. My name is Arvin Haddad. I'm a real estate agent here in Beverly Hills. I sell all around Los Angeles in different neighborhoods. Okay, the number one flaw of this property is privacy and especially privacy for a celebrity. Hey, good morning, Kanye. Shut the f the number one issue is not just the next door neighbors. You can see one of the neighbors kind of looks into the you know terrace above and one of them to the side yard, but it's more than that. The proximity of Kanye's house to the public access is a downfall. You're about 13, 14 homes away. If it was a regular person, not that big of a deal, but considering this is a popular beach and considering that this is Kanye West, this is a major, major negative, And I will tell you why, because we don't have private beaches in California. Every single beach in California is open to public and civilian population like myself and my friends and your friends probably when it gets really hot in Southern California, we go to the beach. Everyone does, right? That's like one of the cheapest alternatives to being really, really hot. And there are many access points from the valley and other parts of the city to Malibu. So it gets pretty crowded. And guess what? People drive a long, long time to get to the beach. So when they park their car, you know, 10 miles away and walk to the private access, point they're tired they pretty much they were the you know in the proximity of where the entrance of the public access to the beach is and for that reason this is a major privacy issue because it's Kanye West he's one of the biggest celebrities one of the most successful celebrities out there and people say oh this time let's go to the beach where you know Kanye stays and we might be able to even see him so that creates a whole attraction of its own and I'll promise you the neighbors are not happy about that because that beach is about to become a lot more popular now the second flaw of this property why I think it's not worth 57.3 and a lot of you guys have agreed I've read a lot of comments people or comparing this property to a shoebox or a mental institution for that matter. All jokes aside, this is technical and I think you guys would get a kick out of this. This is an architectural property and some architectural properties, if that architect is really famous at that time of the transaction, get a premium. Now, the actual value of this house is not $15,000 a foot, right? It should be somewhere between $8,000 a foot, maximum, you know, $10,000 a foot for what it is and its location, right? However, Kanye is paying a premium for the architect, right? The problem I have is I love Tadao Ando. I think he's one of the most brilliant, amazing architects out there. However, in my opinion, this is the least attractive of his designs that I've ever seen. You can go to his website and check out his design. He's a genius. He's amazing. He's one of the best architects out there, especially if you like, you know, concrete and wood mixture and a lot of light. That's what he specializes in. But this is just not his best work. And it's not like he dropped the ball either. He just didn't have enough room to work. This lot is tiny. The house is tiny. The neighbors are just kind of cramming in. There's not much side yard to work with. There's not much room for him to express his style. And for that reason, I don't think it's that beautiful. And I strongly dislike the facade of this house I mean I there's no better way than saying it's just ugly the front facade is very ugly now I love the beach side and I think that's the most beautiful angle for this house however do you know who's gonna enjoy that all the people who use the beach access to get to the beach Kanye while he's you know in his room is never gonna see that angle I guess what I'm trying to say is that he definitely got a Leonardo da Vinci he paid for a Mona Lisa but he got Leonardo da Vinci's like notepad scribble that sold for like two million dollars right and that is the best way to describe it but then it gets a little worse because this property his designs are very minimalistic and that's why Kanye loves this style right it's kind of zen but then there's one thing about this house the third flaw that kind of takes that zenness away and the third flaw of this property is its proximity where the beach is or where the water ends up at the beach. During the high tide, you can see the water comes right underneath the property. You don't have much beach, you don't have much sand when you get off. So a lot of times during the year or day, you literally walk down the stairs and you're in the water. Now that has multiple negatives, right? The first being that you don't have a sand, right? Like if the water is all the way up, you can't just go in and lay on the sand and chill, right? You're gonna be in the water. You have to get away from your house and find it you know, where there's more depth of beach 
reach and you know set up your umbrella over there that's a negative of its own the second problem is erosion right if the water is coming all the way up to your foundation it's going to slowly erode your foundation the third reason of why sand is important is that believe it or not and you're going to hate this right you're going to totally hate this is that the sound the waves make when they break when you're that close to the water it gets really annoying right and it gets even worse if the waves are crashing on your foundation right that sound is right underneath you and I have no clients who have literally put bulletproof glasses and tried everything to minimize the sound and they have not been successful for that reason I personally prefer beachfront properties that are higher on a cliff or kind of step back from the beach and have a long backyard to the beach where it creates a little buffer for the sound to reach and it's not as annoying it's more like tranquil and relaxing and that element really contradicts with the whole zen style of ando right it kind of crashes together guys thank you for watching my channel i really appreciate it click the subscribe button click the like button write a comment let me know what you think get into the community okay i'm really passionate about this stuff i love critiquing homes because i think this is the only way you can learn about residential real estate i love you guys and thank you for your support see you in the next video